That's the thought process. Mm-hmm. That's the theory. What kind of theory? A game theory. <laughs> <laughs> and ozone theory. And ozone theory. I'm yeah, I've definitely got my own theories for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eagle Eye Fi. I'm Ozone. I'm competent. And I'm Clueless. And we are back playing Outer Wilds. And we are headed to the Ash Twin. Where yeah. we are going to try and uh, find the Hourglass Towers. Yeah, in the last episode we, uh, we realized that these towers on the Ash Twin go to different places on the planet. Because there's the one that goes to Brittle Hollow from the... Uh, uh, White Hole Station, uh -huh. and then there's a different one in the Ash Twin, or yeah, on the Ash Twin that goes to the underside of the crust of Brittle Hollow. Yeah, I think that's them. I think so. Yeah. Ember Twin. Yeah, I really want to go to the Ash Twin, but yeah. There we go. Anyway, um. So we learned something by going to the Black Hole Forge, which we finally was able to make it to uh, in the last episode. And that was um, what I think is the secret for how to get to the Ash Twin project and the core of the Ash Twin, right? Because mm -hmm. um, they talked about how it, ha it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up. Uh, I'm not, that's not, uh, what am I, I'm... I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've messed it up. I, I don't know that you know what you're doing right now. No. Um, Take talking. Taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking and... Ah! It's a bit rough. <laughs> so, why don't we let Ozone land here? Okay. It's not, and... really, not a French kiss landing, but no. it's good enough. <laughs> well, listen for the sand. Where yeah. is... Where is... I don't know. The... We are... It the, the sand is going to... Has started transferring. But yes, we're, we're safe. Okay. So, right. So it talked about... One, it said that uh, somebody had thought... Had felt like there was a flaw in the tower projects. Mm -hmm. Because... The, the, de the destination would never align with the planet. Okay, and that right. And that would have to be the Ash Twin Tower sitting on the Ash Twin itself. And the destination then is the core of the planet. Okay. Which we have been unable to get to. Right. Um, so that's what I think is going on. But I think also that, you know, it's going to take some time. So... Before, because this is the sun tower, and that was the tallest. It's like right there in front of us, mm -hmm. and so we got a little bit of time before we uh, can get into the center of the ash twin. Okay. But I thought that was very interesting. Like I said, they 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 said, "Oh, well, this is a problem," and the and the other no, I corrected him and said, "No, it's not a problem," because there's some fudge factor. It, it's based on the center of the orbit, and the center of the orbit is between the two planets because they're in a binary system mm -hmm. and orbiting each other. Um, <laughs> and even then, there's some wiggle room, yeah. Right. Five degrees or something. So, yeah, I didn't have to, like, come straight to the planet here, but, you know, that's what we do. We jump into the ship and we fly off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whee! Ooh. It's the interloper. And I want to stay in the air, in, in the spacecraft here, because that's where we have oxygen. We're, we're yes. going through oxygen the rest of the time. But we need to wait for the other towers to become exposed. So, and we'll just have to plop on the sand here and wait. I suppose that we can take this opportunity to go look at the log again. Yes. Um, because we've basically got everything filled out except for the ash twin, the ash project. twin project so yeah the central chamber inside the ash twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell so we can't get in any other way therefore it makes sense that the warping from the tower is the only way to get into it mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me 
Uh, 22 minute interval, blah, blah, out. Oh, and advanced warp core was approved for installation in the chamber, central chamber of Ash Twin. And that is what I think we could use on the vessel. So I feel like we're really close to finally finishing up this game if we are able to do things right. Okay. But when we get into the Ash Twin, I'm sure there will be uh, reading oh, yeah. that needs to be done. <clears throat> and we'll probably take most of the time that we have. So I don't expect that we'll actually make an attempt to finish the game in this cycle. Yeah. But that's the plan. That's the thought process. Mm-hmm. That's the theory. What kind of theory? A game theory. <laughs> <laughs> and ozone theory. And ozone theory. I'm, yeah, I've definitely got my own theories for sure. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes they are way off the mark. Yes. But I feel like we're getting pretty close. So, Well, all we can do is go look. Yeah. Well, we got to go to that anyway, and this seems to be the best, mm -hmm. the best course. And what I'm wondering about is if this is the, what we're supposed to do to finish the game. Meaning mm -hmm. we've got to come to the Ember Twin, we've got to go to the center, we've got to get the Warp Core, and then we've got to navigate to Dark Bramble and navigate to the vessel. Mm -hmm. This is quite a delay that we're waiting here. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, you know? I don't know. I mean, next time we can snooze. Well, they can do keep showing us like only the three masks being awake. Uh huh. So I'm wondering whether there's something else with more masks. But I don't think so. We found other statues, and they've had their eyes closed. Mm -hmm. I believe that when the statue opens its eyes, that's when the mask lights up. Mm -hmm. And that's when the, they start collecting the memory of the person. Who activated him. So, oh, so. I've said that there are three. Mm -hmm. We know that we're one of the loopers. Mm -hmm. Gabbro on Giant's Deep is one of the loopers. Mm -hmm. Who's the third? Right. Do you think it's Solanum? Because they've been doing this for what nine million billion tries or two million years or something like that and so and Solanum who is the actual the only gnomi, a living one the li yeah the only living gnomi that we found on uh, the quantum moon mm -hmm. how have they been able to stay alive right unless they're also looping and have been looping for the last two million years that's a long time. It is. It is. Kind and it's of a, like they gave up on it. When we're coming along, and, you know, we know very little info, we have to start from scratch, and just yeah. from their little chicken scratches, it would seem like... <laughs> they would have been in a much better position have, yeah. to do that. Yeah. A long, and, long time ago. And their ship is still there. Right. So it's not like they were stuck. So I, I don't know. I don't know. But... Ah, uh, maybe not into the sand column. No, I'm we just trying to see how far... Oh, we're, we're on the wrong side of the planet here. For the towers. I was waiting for the towers to become exposed, and... Well, these over here... <laughs> are the ones being exposed. Uh, just not in the sand I'm, I'm working column. on it. I'm working on it. Okay, I think that's actually what we want. Isn't that the Ash Twin and Ember Twin so, right yeah. there? So, that's been exposed for a good bit of time. And when the sand column passes over the tower, that is when the alignment point is set up. So we've missed our, our opportunity okay. right here because I don't want to try to go into the tower while the sand column is going. Right. It also implies that there has to be two um, two different warp points. One to the Ember Twin and one to the Ash Twin. And it looks like that's the case. So which is which is which? Which which is which? Yeah. Is this the Ember Twin or the Ash Twin? And we got a dead Nomai here. Yeah. Funny the sand thing didn't um, suck them up. Let's see. That There's is a scroll receptacle. Yeah. Do we see a scroll? 
I don't see a scroll anywhere else. So the things match. I would think that this one might be it because this is where the nobody was trying to get into. Yeah, and the towers match the appearance of the planets, and one of them is kind of scraggly and broken, and one is not. Mm-hmm. But it is hard to tell. So I'm going to guess that this is the one that we need to go into, and we'll just wait. Arms raised to the sky, saying, Take us! Sandstorm, <laughs> and you come by next time. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I am a little worried that this one is broken, maybe? And I, I don't know. We may have to wait for another another loop of the sand column. I don't know. Of the, of the planet. Ooh, big sun. Yeah, Very orange. that's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing that we're not trying to travel to the sun, huh? <laughs> yeah. But, well. But, hmm, okay, yes. We, we sort of found out how to do that from the other tower. Yeah, you're right, we did, to the sun station, yeah. For the two minutes or whatever that we have available yeah. to work with the sun station. I've also questioned, you know, because here's Giant's Deep coming up above. Where does the teleporter go on to Giant's Deep? I don't know that... Oh, well, we could go find out. Maybe I, not I right don't this minute. I remember. Yeah, and it, it's not relevant, I would say, but I don't remember. All right. Oh, no. We are getting sucked up by the sand column. And we are not on the planet anymore. No. Nope. <laughs> so that was clearly the wrong tower. Ah. What am I doing? Oh, we're finally... You're falling. I'm falling. You're falling. Yes. Don't die. Well, at least I'm back on the planet. Yes. Which is... But your sand column. Sand column. Run! <laughs> Okay, well, through process of elimination, we have determined that that is not the correct tower. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I guess we should have thought about that. Well, I did think about that. I just... That's why I said I won't, don't know that this is going to work because, and if it's broken. But that's all right. We've still got time. But it's interesting that the sandstorm sucks us up, but it doesn't suck up the dead nomai. Well, the dead nomai is under the bridge. Yeah. So, I think that's the reason why. And this has, has the grass in place. So, I think we'll be good to go. <laughs> now, just gotta wait again. Doesn't it look like there's a room up there? I it does. Yes, it does. I believe that we've been in those rooms and um, there was probably the scroll that goes into the wall here is found uh. up there. Oops, not much oxygen left. I'm going to assume that there's there's oxygen in the uh, Ash Twin core. Probably a good assumption. Yeah. Let's hope. But I hear the sand column coming. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought we were getting, like, warped away, but no, we were just getting <laughs> lifted up into the sand. Now let's see if it takes us up through this little tiny hole. Well, it's a warp, so it's... Yeah. Come on! Boo! Whoa, where are we? We are on the other twin. Ember twin. We're on the ember twin. Which is not where I wanted to be. No. So we can get back. How do we get back? I thought I had this all figured out. <laughs> is there perhaps another one of these on the Ember Twin? How do we get into the Ash Twin core? Wow, okay, well, there, there we go. <laughs> but the, uh, now I'm 
frustrated. How do we get into the Ash Twin Core? Well, I guess let's go to the room. Up on top and see what's up, up on there. Up on top, yeah. This is the bridge that goes to the other side. And an elevator to the roof roof. And ah. there's, there's our scroll. I don't know how much it's going to help us to have that, honestly. But Go go look over on the other thing. Uh, oh. No. Nope. Uh, hearth or planet? Ship. Ship. Not planet. Ship. Hey. I didn't, like, take damage. Which is all good. Yeah. Alright, get some fuel while we're here. We're all... All geared up. And ready to and go. watch out. Sand coming. Yep. I just don't have enough gas to get up there. Easily. Ah, I bounced off of it like a basketball. Yet again. Well, wait. Yeah, darn it. Well, we need to read this scroll anyway. Yes. So. I feel like we have, um, but if anything's going to give us an answer, this should. Yes. In my book, you know? I agree. Don't get too close. There we go. There we go. Nice, simple leap up here, which I was unable skippity to do. Hoppity, skippity, jumpity. Yeah. All right. Let's see what this says. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Remy found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoe would lose his head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Huh. So do you high think... High Energy Lab? Yeah, do you think they're telling us to go to the High Energy Lab? Which is already cut buried in sand by now. Um... Why does this not work? It's got a black hole, so it's got a core. I... I don't know. Maybe we have to wait till all the sand is gone? I wouldn't think so. To see where so. it goes? I wouldn't think so, uh, but... Ooh, maybe. That would mean we have very little time to get to the Dark Bramble if that's what we have to do. My thought is that maybe if we're not... Yeah, I don't know. We've got to be on this plate and we're going to get sucked up. Maybe we can get sucked up so that we get stuck on the top plate there and not get sucked out. You want to step left then? Well, I'm trying to stay underneath this, this arch right here. Uh, or this beam right here. Okay. I Maybe... That's my next best guess. But I also... Could not say. I also would have thought that it would be enough to just, like, be in the sand column. Mm -hmm. Because of the five degrees of variance allowed. Mm -hmm. Am I still on... Eh. Yeah. Honestly, I should be just fine. If I'm standing on the warp core itself, I should be just fine if we're going straight up. But I'd rather err in the side of caution a little bit. Hmm. No, it sucked me through it. Now we're going to the ember... It sucked me through the hole. I was afraid of that. Me too. Ah, Dang it's it. gonna suck you back in. Yeah. Oh, the sun is kind of close. Yes, sun big. Well, ah, 
Frustration. I mean, I mean, we can't get to the Ember, we can't get to the high energy lab. And it is out of sand. The sand is all transferred over. And this is not charged anymore. This is where we landed the first time. Oh. But this was glowy and mm -hmm. uh, it's not glowy anymore. Purple and activated. Right. So I bet if we read this, it's... Eh. Charged. Hey. It's, it says it's charged. I don't know that I believe it. We're not going to make it off of this planet this way. Well, quit flying so much. Well, I was trying to fly to the planet itself, honestly. But... Yeah. It's not charged indeed. But there's, you know, my, my fuel is just, it goes so quickly and the gravity on this planet is too strong. When well, I was what does that bottom thing actually say? All I can read is charged and you click off of it. Step onto warp to receive our platform to activate return warp. Okay. Yeah, which we did when we came here accidentally the first time. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't update. Huh. Well. I don't know what to do. Well, you want to go look around here as long as we're stuck here? Yeah. Might as well find out some more info. I mean, we can try. We can try to get into the... I think this is the high energy lab, yes, and the door is broken, so we've been there and we can't get in here. Uh, I think. I think we're just. It's coming. No, that's the sun, I oh. think, that we're hearing. It's very big. Very, very close is the problem. Uh. Hey! Yeah, I used the, the sun's gravity. Ah, oh, it's not enough. <laughs> Taking a bit of a risk by trying to have the sun slingshot, slingshot us up into the next that other planet, but yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, it just recharges the fuel so slowly, and there's our music. Okay, but we are finally in the gravity of the ah! planet here. Oops. Right. Okay. Well, that is Brittle Hollow. That is Giant Steep. Okay. We may not have enough oxygen to make a jump from here, but it's we said we wanted to try and see where it goes. Sure. So I guess let's try. All right. Is it is the planet going to come back around in twenty seconds? I. Well, it's giant steep that we need to be in orbit with. Yes. Not, not the twin. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's unlikely. Hey. It's experimental. That's <laughs> yeah. what happens. It's all experimental. Experimental gameplay. There goes Hearth, I think. Yeah, that's Hearth. We are suffocating. We're Goodbye, suffocate cruel before world. The, before the world ends. Yeah, just a few moments before the sun blows up. Yeah. Okay, well, I thought I, thought I had it figured out, but this game keeps throwing me a loop. Keeps throwing me a curveball somehow. Yep. Yeah, you know, the whole, um, um, gosh, I don't know where, what we were doing. I was trying to do something and, uh, oh, getting to the Black Hole Forge. I thought it would be easy to walk right in and it was not easy. Four episodes of searching to try to find the Black Hole Forge. Right. And so in the end, we accomplished not nothing on the rumor block, uh, but we learned.
Yep. So. Sometimes checking things off as a no is is important, you know? Yeah. I wonder... No. Wonder, wonder, who. I was just wondering if we have to get there before the sand starts transferring, but I don't believe the tower is exposed. Right. Before the sand starts transferring, because the I sun don't tower... Know that you can get there before the sun sand starts transferring. We did this time. Oh, we did? We did. We got to it before the sand started transferring. Hmm. So... But, yeah, but you, you won't be able to get into the thing until it is exposed. Exactly. And the sun, the, the sun tower isn't exposed uh, until the sand starts traveling, transferring, and the twin towers aren't going to be exposed until the sand starts transferring. Right. So we'll have to stop and think about it between episodes and figure yeah. out what's next. I mean, I think it's telling us we need to go to the high energy lab. I don't know. It does sort of feel like that. Was you want to go back in and check off and see, check the the rumor logs? board. I really don't think I don't remember seeing anything, but I don't either. Sure. But we can often when you read things like that, it does give you info so oh, I don't there know we go. so I don't see any green dots um, do, 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 do. Hmm. right so let's where's the high energy lab Benomai successfully reproduced a temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. The Nomai discovered that they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22-minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require a new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. Right, okay, towers. Hmm. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet Although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between the Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Well, to me it almost sounds like there's something... The, the tower itself of the Ash Twin tower is broken? Yes, that's what we've encountered right so maybe there's some way to fix it question mark i don't know i think you're right in that we have to wait till the sand is empty but if that means that we need to get a warp core and go to the vessel then that's not going to be enough time to do that right um i think my idea of potentially not getting sucked out through the hole what worked sort of worked i mean i got sucked out the hole in the middle but but how are we gonna warp because we're not standing on the plate right i don't know the only other thought then that i have is that one of these towers we need to go there and do something on one of these towers first no I don't know. There's got to be a warp plate. Let's just zoom into that thing super big. Because this is what it all boils down to. How do we get here? There's got right. to be a warp to this from somewhere. Right. And where would it be? Where are the other places that you can warp from? Uh, the White Hole. Yeah. And the Ash Twin Towers. Those are the only ones that you can warp from? From. All of the others that I know of. I mean, clearly there's there's another one. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. because you, it, it has to exist to be able to get to the core of the Ash Twin. Mm -hmm. But where? Well, maybe we need to check out some of the other planets. You know? I think maybe we go back to the high energy lab. That, yeah. I mean, I think that there might... <sighs> I It seems like we missed something there. I mean, it seemed very non... Well, I mean, we very learned about nothing. the black holes there. Huh? That's where we, we did the, had the white holes and the black holes and could th in the warp cores and made the probe disappear and stuff. Um, so, I mean, we learned about that. There's also... It's not really warping, but there is also the methodology of... Quantum. Quantum. Right. So, is it possible that there's a quantum... Quantum was up here. Uh, I don't know that there's a quantum on Ash Twin. Got the quantum grove on Hearth, the quantum caves on Ember Twin, and the lake bed caves on Ember Twin. Multiple Ember Twins, okay, yeah. And there's this one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which was on Brittle Hollow. And there's the Tower of Quantum Trials, which is on uh, Giant's Deep. But there doesn't seem to be a Quantum Stone on the Ash Twin. Not that we've at least got a log for here. But maybe it'll get uncovered by sand? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, indeed. I mean, it's, again, late in the cycle for such a thing to be happening. Right. But, hey, here comes the sun. I don't know. It's a conundrum. So quantum and warp are the two ways that I could think of to get in there, but we need to figure it out. And No, you're exactly right. Those are the two ways that I know of as well. So, all right, well, I thought we might be getting closer, but it looks like we've got another, another hurdle yet to make. So, I guess we'll attempt again in the next episode. So, I'll come back then and see how we do. Until then, remember, be excellent to each other. We are out.